Open Buildings Designer comes with a wide range of flexible freeform modeling tools that combine static modeling, parametric modeling, and computational design modeling that help especially the initial conceptual modeling process, but right through to the design and delivery. Today, we'll work through some of these different modeling options, focusing mainly on our parametric modeling and our computational design modeling. First of all, let's just cover some of the basic object oriented modeling tools that Open Buildings has available to us. Now, for many of our activities and many of our object types, these tools will suffice. And they're very easy modeling, modeling tools. You know, for example, the wall tool is a simple select wall, click point A to point B. Place a door in that wall, click on the door tool, select the door, place in the wall. But sometimes some of our modeling requirements need us to be a little bit more flexible and a little bit more intelligent in the way we craft our different modeling objects. First of all, we'll take a look at our flexible parametric modeling tools. These modeling tools consist of solid surfaces, meshes, lines, cells, curves, etc., etc. And we tend to use these tools where the object oriented tools don't give us the freeform flexibility that we need. On top of this, once placed, we can add our information properties to these objects and also our symbolization. So if something's concrete, we can make it look like concrete and we can make it have the attributes of concrete. These tools are also history-based. We can step back through the way these objects were made and make edits according. For the real power, we come to our computational design and modeling techniques. And the computational design and modeling techniques use a node and transaction-based system to allow us to create rule-based rule logic and relationships between objects and other input parameters. And as you can see, the end results can be quite amazing. So let's kick off this webinar by having a look at the link between object oriented tools, such as walls, and how we can make a surface turned into a solid and turned into a wall display some real freeform properties.